So what is going on guys welcome back to another OnePlus 6 video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Android P Beta 2 for our OnePlus 6. Well uh, this is quite a while since OnePlus has actually released an Android P Beta image cause they missed developer preview 2 then they missed developer preview 3 then they missed Android P Beta and they have now given directly Android P Beta 2 which is not a bad thing but seriously in my last video I complained that it has some of the oxygen OS parts. Well, this time it's completely based on Oxygen OS. So you don't get any kind of Android P gestures and everything that other the goodies. We literally get nothing like that. It's solely based on Android P Beta 2. So if you are a developer, go ahead, you can make apps for it. But if you're aiming for specific Android P Beta experience while making your apps, the framework has been modified by Oxygen OS. So let's just take a look. As you can see, this is the home screen. Looks completely the same as before. If you swipe up, you still have the same launcher and these are the stock apps that you get with it. There is not a lot of bloatware as you can see, but this build is actually much stabler than before. This build actually supports Geo 4G Volti and pretty much uh, some of the bugs which I have encountered are some camera bugs and just security thingies. But rather than that, for daily usage, uh, no issues at all. There are just minor bugs considering that it's running on Android version which is not yet released. So that's amazing in that part. But let's just take a look because there are a heck a lot of things that have been added from Oxygen OS. So on the left, you still get your shelf as you can see nothing new in that. But you have to take a look at the UI which is still the same like literally volume panel still from Android Nougat I can say like I don't know why OnePlus is just not adding the newer one quick settings as you can say still the same and they don't get rounded corners which is kind of a bit annoying on this roundish phone but it does get tons of animation as you can see the email just gets uh, minimized over there even if you expand all the notifications it doesn't expand to this part which is a bit annoying and then let's just go to the settings which has a whole lot of upgrades so the UI looks finally newer after two years. So as you can see, it looks a bit like a Samsung phone. You have bigger settings in front, just like Android 8.1. And all the icons have been updated. Well, they have like a bit of a shade. You can't actually make it through the camera, but we will change the theme later on cause by default, it's on light theme, not on the default. So let's just take a look. So Wi-Fi, internet, everything is working just fine. You get data usage over there. And you do get some toggles over here for it, such as for example, you get NFC toggle, then again the reading mode from Oxygen OS, the gaming mode works perfect. You get the data saver, as you can see directly over here, location, I don't know why it's activated. You get screencast, invert colors, just handy toggles now added. And then again, you also get newer additions from Oxygen OS, such as discoverable, even when Bluetooth is off, pretty handy feature. Then if you go to display, you get adaptive brightness, sleep, night mode, reading mode, everything from Oxygen OS you ever remembered. Then again, screen calibration, which is kind of broken right now. It just literally does nothing. But if you go to custom color, you can actually adjust the warmth and the coolness of the display, which is uh, quite nice to be honest. Cause still emulators can't reach actual white. So that's kind of handy. Then you have notch display. Well, you can actually now hide the notch area just like before, but it gives you another notch. So let's just now do a quick reboot. The device has been rebooted and as you can see it completely hides the notch over at top and now the corners are actually symmetrical well if you are thinking the bottom ones look smaller than the upper one cause it's now symmetrical to this actual corner yes the corners on this phone are not symmetrical at all oneplus has actually given bigger corners at the top compared to the bottom one so it just looks weird now through the camera it's not that annoying but in real life yeah it is a bit if you remove the scratch guard it won't mind a lot but it looks really cool so again go to the notch, you can disable it right away, you have to reboot again. So going down you get apps in full screen which I really love to turn on in video apps such as YouTube and MX Player. They get the full potential of the notch and it really looks beautiful to watch videos in 19 by 9 aspect ratio. Scrolling down you get theme which is by default on light, you will just set it on default. As you can see now it looks uh, quite old. <laughs> going down you have blink light which was not present in Oxygen OS I guess. LED notifications, you can actually now configure them, which is a very nice touch. You get font, font size, display size, just like before, status bar, and then auto rotate screen and screen saver. Screen saver, I will just turn it off right away. Status bar, you can now display network speed, which is just gets hidden over there. You get the battery style, as you can see, circle hidden and battery bar. Icon manager doesn't actually work. As you can see, I've been trying to hide the cellular data cause I don't actually use a SIM in this phone, but just doesn't work. Going back sound, you just get the normal things from Oxygen OS such as audio tuner and the earphone mode. Now coming down, buttons and gestures, a newer tab, you get other starter which has some of the configuration and quick gestures. As you can see, 
there is nothing new in it but they surely work on android p which is nice and then you have navigation bar and gestures yeah if you are thinking you will get the android p gesture where you get the newer recent types panel no it's just the normal one plus gestures where you can swap the buttons and just the normal stuff and if you go over here you can hide the navigation bar then it gets like a samsung button where you can just double tap it to hide it pretty neat and then navigation gestures i love it so we will just use it as the rest of the video then you have battery as you can see you get a newer ui for battery in android p but you do get battery percentage uh, disable or enable which i really love to have security and lock screen as you can see google play protect security update the icons are a bit changed but you do get face unlock over here this is the normal face unlock of oxygen os so pretty handy feature and advanced mode which has been now replaced with utilities now utilities quite actually just fits it you know here you get parallel apps app locker schedule power on and off pocket mode and one plus switch which is a very handy touch and gaming mode as before you just get network boost and stuff network boost really works well in pubg and then at the bottom system which is just getting weird and weirder each and every single android version you get the advanced you can directly turn on the otg support over here which is quite weird it must be inside the utilities then you have multiple users developer options and system update about phone you get the owner info over here as you can see the android version is directly 9 it doesn't say p cause it's android 9 beta 2 not android p developer preview and talking about the apps the apps are untouched but they just get a bit of a ui overall as you can see the icons are now a bit flatter just like the settings app i don't know why it's not touching at the bottom and going to the camera has a bit of upgrades and as it's based on auction os 5.1.5 you don't actually get portrait mode on the front but you do get a working slow motion let me show you as you can see and 4k 60 fps there is the option but it doesn't feel 60 fps as you can see even in preview and you get google lens integration which is google at this time might be just and that's pretty much it for android p beta 2 on oneplus 6 now for the installation you have to take a full backup of your phone then download the actual rom keep it into the internal storage of your phone go to the settings go to system updates choose a local upgrade choose the rom install it wait for the installation then tap reboot you have to hold on your volume up and power at the same time and just stop it from rebooting and go to the fast boot mode from there you have to go to the recovery mode and from there you have to choose your language most of you must be english and wipe your system wipe your data and wipe your cache yeah that's actually it. that actually gets wiped but you have to still do it and then just reboot your system and you have android p on your oneplus 6 that's pretty much it thanks for watching and see you in the next one peace